What is up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be taking out through my top five leg exercises to get stronger and more powerful legs. These are the five exercises that I'm currently doing in my routine. I was thinking about splitting this up into two separate videos, just doing like three exercises for the quads and three exercises for the hamstrings. But I said, you know, I'm just going to combine it up into, uh, into one and just uh, take top five for my uh, legs. So, but yeah, man, I will see y'all with the first exercise. So the first exercise that I always start out my leg workouts with is a some type of squat pattern. It really doesn't matter in my opinion. I always either do a barbell squat or a Smith machine squat, and then occasionally I'll do a hack squat or a leg press. But yeah, usually it's going to be some type of a barbell squat or Smith squat. I just prefer the barbell squat over any other squat just because it is my favorite, and I can load up uh, the most weight, and everybody loves doing squats, man. So but yeah, with the squats, you're going to, like I said, it's my opinion. That I want to do these first because I can load up the most weight and I am the most powerful. So here, especially with the barbell squat, you're going to want to brace your core. Make sure you look up to the ceiling of your squatting. Go do a real squat. Go all the way down. Explode up. I like to bounce out of the bottom a little bit. It's a little bit more. It gets your hamstrings more involved and it is more like a powerful squat. So go down. Bounce up. Uh, but just don't hurt yourself whenever you bounce up. you got to practice a lot. So down. So stay into the squat rack for the second exercise. My second exercise is going to be a RDL. You can do this with really, like it's the same thing as a squat. As long as it's like a movement pattern, it could be a deadlift, a Romanian deadlift, a Smith machine deadlift, Smith machine Romanian deadlift. There's not really a much else. Oh, a dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So yeah, this is mainly for the hamstrings and glutes and uh, your lower back. So strong, brace your core. One, two, three. I always like to put my elbows like in, get the bar as close to me as possible. And I'm going to push my butt back, get a good get stretch on the hamstrings all the way down and up. Make sure not to round your lower back so you don't uh, you don't injure yourself. And then down and then up. Coming in at the third spot in my top five leg exercises, next is going to be lunges. So this is really just for like variability. I usually do these at the end of my leg workouts and I prefer to do them non-weighted just after I'm really burnt out. So here, you're going to want to just try to go in a straight direction. Like, I don't want to just keep, like, go left all the way, then go right all the way. I'm going to want to, sorry, my chain's getting in the way. I'm going to want to go straight. But then also do get a deep stretch on, like, your hamstring, glutes, and quads. And like I said, just go straight. Don't try to go left or right too much. So after I finish up with my three main compound movements for legs, I usually go into leg extensions and then, uh, laying hamstring curls. So luckily at my gym, you can see I have them right next to each other, so I just like superset them both. And uh, this is going to be the fourth and fifth exercise. Sorry, let me, uh, let me get the leg extension right. But yeah, here I'm really just looking to pump as many, or pump as much blood as possible into my quads and my hamstrings. Not really trying to go too heavy, but going heavy enough to where I don't do like 30 reps plus. So here I'm looking to get probably 10 to 15 reps. Like I said, just I really isolate in the quad, squeeze at the top, squeeze at the top, and then uh, same idea for the hamstrings. I'm gonna not want to go too heavy to where I can't do like I don't want to do a set where I'm doing five reps. Basically, what I'm trying to say. But yeah, same with hamstrings. Sorry if the mic audio messes up here. But yeah, strong position, and then curl up to your hamstrings. Alrighty, man. Those are my uh, top five uh, leg exercises. I could have thrown in calves at the end. If you want to say top six, uh, you could throw calves at the end. I'll probably just say do like a standing calf raise after that workout. Yeah, man. I haven't uh, sat down and talked to y'all in a minute. But uh, yeah, life's been going good. I got one month left of high school. Senior year in high school is uh, the current stage of my life. And then we're going to be moving on to some college, man. It should be great. But yeah, the leg workout, or I didn't do legs actually, I did arms uh, that day. Tomorrow's going to be legs, but I decided to record a video because I'm going to be posting every Wednesday and Sunday. If you've seen my new banner that I have like on the top of my channel, I have uh, videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 12 p.m. And then I'm going to be having shorts every day at uh, around 2 p.m. So sometimes, sometimes it'll vary, sometimes it could be later, like maybe 4 p.m. It just depends uh, how quickly I can get them. I can get them down. Usually I try to do them the day before though. My shorts. But yeah, the workout for legs, that, that's like the order that I usually do them in, except for the lunges. I'll probably do squats first and then RDLs next. So those would be like my top two, like main, where I'm loading up the most weight that I can 
that I can do with good form at least where I don't get hurt. And then, uh, like I said, I'll usually go into a super set of leg extensions and hamstring curls. I don't know why. I just like uh, supersetting them just because they are right next to each other and I don't need like a crazy amount of rest time because they are isolation exercises. And then usually I do lunges, just uh, body weight lunges, just to really stretch out my quads and my hamstrings and my glutes. And then uh, I'll finish off with some calf raises, man. So really there's like four exercises mainly in your legs. There's your quad, hamstring, glutes, and uh, calves. So the squats, which really they're all gonna, all the muscles are gonna be getting hit whenever you do the squat and then like the lunges. But uh, I do like throw in isolations, like I said, with a leg extension and a hamstring curl, just to really focus on those muscles. And mainly so I can just, I can really give them like the isolation that they do need. Because in my opinion, uh, compound movements are better than isolation movements, but you do need to have both of the movements. Like for example, if I was just doing, if I did a chest workout with bench press and incline bench and I didn't do flies, the workout wouldn't be as good if I didn't have flies just to get that isolation and that squeezing movement in. But yeah, man, those are my top five uh, leg exercises. You could say top six if you do include the calves. I always do calves. I don't know why. I just didn't, I just want to put them into this workout, man. So yeah, those are my top five slash six leg exercises. I appreciate y'all for watching, man, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out and God bless.